going to give you a biblical secret for improving your marriage today. What can I start doing today to make a better marriage? It comes from uh, these passages of Scripture, but especially Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 33. Paul is summarizing what he said about marriage, and he says, Let each of you, in particular, so love his own wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects the husband. Husband, love your wife. Wife, respect your husband. What's the key to improving your marriage today? Giving uh, Husbands giving their wives lots of love. Wives giving their husband lots of respect. Husbands need respect. Wives need to know that they are loved. These are very, very essential things. And it's amazing how if the wife, the husband will start today giving more love and the wife will give more respect, that makes it easier for the husband to give more love. And the more he's giving love, that makes it easier for her to give him more respect, which makes it easier for him to give her more love and then it makes it easier for her to get more respect, and the marriage starts spiraling up, and things get better and better and better. You can start the spiral going in the right direction today, but if the husband fails to give his wife love, then she's going to have a harder time giving him respect, which means he will have a harder time giving her love, which means she will have a harder time giving respect. And so the marriage is going to spiral, not up, but down. The choice is up to you. You can start today. If, it doesn't matter how low your marriage has gotten. Husbands, if you will choose to give your wife more love, and wives, if you will choose to give your husbands more respect, your marriage can shift and begin to go in the right direction. But if you want to be selfish, if you want to have hurt feelings, if you want to feel entitled and not do these things, not obey what it says in Ephesians chapter 5, then you're choosing. If I'm choosing not to love my wife, if she's choosing not to respect me, we're choosing to send our marriage spiraling in a downward course. Several years ago, I was newly married and struggling in my marriage. My, I didn't feel my wife was giving me the respect I needed. I wasn't feeling uh, a lot of love from her at that time. And so I started praying, Lord, change my wife. And God did nothing. And I kept praying, God, change my wife. And God did nothing. And then one day I'm praying and I'm like, God, why are you not hearing my prayers? And I felt like God said, because you're praying the wrong prayer. The right prayer is not, Lord, change my wife. The right prayer is, Lord, change me. Some of you have been praying for your mate to change. Well, you need to start today asking God to change you. Husband, so help me learn how to love my wife better. Wives praying, help me learn how to respect my husband more. And when you do this, you're, you're practicing the secret for improving your marriage starting today.